The template editor allows you to create an almost unlimited group of templates to handle anything from a routine follow-up to a complex history and diagnosis. Since everything is under your control, you can change or update a template at any time. More importantly, templates give you a consistent approach to chart notes. Everything appears the same way every time. Therefore, you will not forget to ask an important question because they all appear on the screen every time you choose the template for the chart note. The key to making this happen are well-constructed templates, and it is accomplished through the template editor. Once templates are created and saved, they can be used in chart notes. This video will walk you through creating and modifying templates via the template editor. Specifically, the video will start with an introductory section that will cover accessing the template editor, creating a new template, searching for and finding templates, deleting templates, and cloning templates. In the second section, we will cover how to add and configure a variety of tools that can be added to your templates to provide a number of buttons, checklists, and tables that will help you provide detailed and thorough chart notes. In the third section, we will cover how to create template sections that allow you to output information in those sections to a letter. And then in the fourth and final section, we will cover how to remove items from a template should they arise. When finished with this video, you should have an understanding of how to access the template editor, create and modify templates, as well as how to add a variety of template tools and how to remove unwanted items from a template. For more detailed information on how to add and use the functionality outlined in this video, consult our online help system by clicking the F1 key when in Chartmaker Clinical. Prior to getting into the details of adding or modifying actual content within a chart template, we will begin by covering some basic functions within the template editor. Specifically, this section of the video will cover how to access the template editor, create a new chart template, search for an existing template, delete an existing template, and cloning a template. To access the template list that allows you to create, modify, and delete chart templates, you need to have the template editor user privilege, as well as any applicable licensing for the template editor. If you cannot access the template list, you should contact your practice administrator about modifying your user access privilege for template editing. If your practice administrator has any questions or concerns regarding setting user privileging information or template editor licensing, they can contact Chartmaker Clinical support. To access the template list in Chartmaker Clinical, click View and then Template List. If the template list is grayed out and not accessible, you need to contact your practice administrator. Once the template list is accessed, you can create a new template or locate a template you want to modify, clone, or delete. When finished adding or modifying templates, to return to the patient list, you need to click View and then Patient List. Once the template list is accessed, you have the ability to create a new template. To do this, click the New button at the bottom of the screen. A new template will then open and you will see a blank screen with the cursor flashing in the upper left of the template pane. You can begin by typing text into this pane, or you can add one of the template tools that appear on the left hand side of the screen. The button in the center of the editor corresponds to the item that is highlighted in the list below. Double clicking the name places the item into the template where the cursor is placed. The same result is obtained if you click on the button itself. Adding template tools to the template will be covered in greater detail a little later in the video. So for now, let's just add a name for the template in the name field. Once a unique name has been entered for the template, you are ready to add any applicable text or various template tools to the template. See the Adding Template Tools to a Chart Template section later in this video for further details on adding template tools to a template. When finished, be sure to save your changes by clicking the Save button. Or, if the Auto Save option is selected, any additions or changes will automatically be saved once they are made, and you can click the Close Template button to exit the template.
To assist you in quickly finding the template you want to modify, clone, or delete, you have the ability to select whether you would like to view all templates, which will show all templates in the system, all my templates, which will show all the templates on your note list via the note tab, new note option, or all instant templates, which will show you all templates on every user's note list. And then you can click into the template list search field and type the letters of the template you are looking for, and the system will return only those templates that meet those results. You can also further refine the search by modifying the search type field at the bottom of the template list. Once the correct template is located, it can be accessed by double clicking the template or by highlighting that template and then clicking the open button below. To delete a template, search for the template you want to delete. Once the template has been located, highlight that template. To delete the highlighted template, click the edit menu and then click delete template. A confirmation dialog will appear. Click the Yes button to delete the template. Do note when you click the Yes button to delete the template, you cannot undo that deletion and the template will be deleted permanently. Instead of starting a template from scratch, you have the option to copy or clone an existing template. Cloning is always a good idea if you are about to make major changes to a template and are not quite sure that you will want to keep those changes. To clone a template, search for the template you want to clone. Once the applicable template has been located, double click that template to access it. Once the template has been accessed, click the template menu and then click clone. This will clone the template and you will notice that the template name will change to clone of whatever the template name was previously. You can now rename the template. Once you have renamed a template, you can make any applicable changes to the template as needed. See the Adding Template Tools to a Chart Template section later in this video for further details on adding and configuring template tools in a template. This concludes this section of the Chartmaker Clinical Template Editing Training Video. To replay this video, click the Replay button. If you'd like to replay a particular section of the video, you can click the appropriate entry in the Table of Contents to the left. To continue with the next part of the template editing training video, or to view a previous part, click the applicable link on our website.